So everybody, I wanted to make a quick PSA video because Apple's doing something with the Apple Card that they've never done before. Let's talk about it. Now this is gonna be just a quick highlight of what the Apple Card gives you. If you guys wanna see an in-depth review or my long-term review, I've had the Apple Card for five years. I'll definitely link some of the videos that I've already posted before down below for you guys to check out. But at a glance, the Apple Card is a cashback card that really focuses on being able to use the Apple ecosystem to really help and educate users to pay off the card on time, in full, and not accrue any interest. What I love about this card as a cashback card is that it's a zero annual fee card, also zero transaction fees, zero late fees, zero minimum fees, so it's very easy to use and it's a great set it and forget it type of card and then in terms of spending categories and you do get three percent cash back on anything apple related so whether it's an in-app purchase or something from the app store or a service like apple one or apple music or if you are buying something like a macbook laptop or an ipad or a studio display or the vision pro you're able to get three percent cash back directly to your daily cash back account and it does also give you the option to finance at zero percent Apple products from the Apple Store, whether it's a six months or 12 months increments, it just depends on what the product is essentially. Then you also get 2% cash back on any Apple Pay transaction. So if you use your iPhone to do Apple Pay or if you Apple Pay through an online retailer, 2% cash back on any category. And then if you do use a physical card, then it's 1% cash back on everything else. And the beauty about the Apple Card is that you do get daily cash back. So the second you make that purchase, the very next day you'll have access to that cash back. So if you spend $100 in store via Apple Pay, you'll then get $2 directly into your daily cash back that you can use as you see fit you know you can use it to pay off the card a little bit more you can send it to the high yield savings account which is nice to have at 4.4 percent or you can withdraw it directly to your bank account so to each their own but now the awesome thing that Apple's doing here for the very first time is a sign-up bonus. Normally, these banks and these issuers and these credit card companies like to incentivize users to apply for their card by giving some sort of incentive when you sign up in sign-up bonuses. So most cards will give you, you know, get $500 back after spending $3,000 in the first three months or something like that. And Apple, for the most part, has not been doing this in the last five years of this card existing. So the fact that we're not getting a sign-up bonus is something that is very welcome for a lot of people. I wish I was able to sign up for this card now and get the sign-up bonus. But there's two different ones that are out in the wild right now. The first one is the public facing offer that we've seen on social media, on Instagram, on Twitter, and things like that. And it's basically $100 back after spending $500 in the first 30 days. So if you're able to spend $500 in the first 30 days of having this card, Apple will then deposit $100 directly into your daily cash back. And it's gonna work the same way as your any other daily cash back. So you can use that $100 to withdraw to your bank account, you can use it to pay off your card, you can use it to put it into that high yield savings account, or you can even use it from the Apple Pay wallet because the Apple Cash Card is a digital card that you can use in store or online. So again, that's the first offer that we're seeing. The second offer is a targeted offer. I have not been able to find a public link for this, so if that does change, I will link that one down below. So definitely check out the description depending on when you're watching this. But this targeted offer is for $300 cash back after spending $1,500 in the first 60 days. So if you're able to spend $1,500 in a 60 day span, definitely apply for this because after those $1,500, Apple will then deposit $300 into your daily cash back account. And you can do the same thing that you were doing with $100 and the same thing that you were doing in that $2 example like I mentioned earlier. So definitely jump on it if you guys are able to. A sign up bonus is very unheard of in the Apple ecosystem. So if you do get the targeted offer, highly recommend jumping on it. So let me know in the comment down below if you did get the targeted offer or if you've seen that $100 offer on Instagram or on social media. And also let me know in the comment down below if you ended up applying and taking advantage of the sign up bonus. I do wish that I was able to get the public offer of that $300 targeted offer, but unfortunately it's only coming in to people via email. So definitely take that into consideration. Maybe wait a little bit to see if you'll actually get that targeted offer, but this offer is only through September 3rd. So if you don't get it by maybe September 1st, I would recommend maybe jumping on the public offer if you are looking to apply for this credit card. So definitely take that into consideration. But that'll do it, everybody. Let me know in the comment down below what you think. Are you going to apply for the Apple Card because of this? Do you already own an Apple Card? Do you use it as your main card? Do you kind of use it in a different ecosystem? Let me know in the comment down below. But that'll do it, everybody. If you want to watch more videos like this one, click on one of these videos right here. And until next time, I'm Fernando, and I'm out of here, everybody. Peace.